I'm Jonathan Dixon. I'm the Secretary General of the International Association of Insurance Supervisors, or the IAIS. Uh, and I'm very pleased to be here to provide an overview of the core international standards for insurance supervision, or the uh, insurance core principles, or ICPs. So the ICPs provide a global benchmark uh, for good insurance supervision. It's important to note insurance plays a, a, a key economic and societal role around the world. So it's important that insurers are supervised effectively and our supervision needs to cover uh, the likes of governance and risk management, uh, solvency issues, conduct of business. So what the ICPs do is they provide uh, a guide to how to do this insurance supervision well and to make sure that insurers are financially sound, they're solvent, uh, and they treat their customers fairly. And that's how we achieve uh, proper policyholder protection and contribute to financial stability. So in my role, I have uh, the privilege of, of, of meeting insurance supervisors from around the world and, and interacting and engaging with them. And what, what I hear is uh, the extent to which uh, so many of them are using the ICPs very practically in their day-to-day -day job. So either uh, as a guide to help them improve their legislation and regulatory frameworks, or else uh, in their day-to-day -day job of supervision and understanding good supervisory practices. So what's clear is that uh, supervisors really are using the ICPs on the ground to make uh, their supervision uh, more effective uh, and, and to properly protect policyholders. So there's 26 ICPs in total uh, and they cover uh, certain key, key categories. Firstly, uh, there's uh, ICPs that deal with the, with the powers uh, and responsibilities uh, and independence of, of supervisors, also covering issues around how insurance supervisors should interact and cooperate uh, with supervisors either in other sectors or other jurisdictions. Secondly, uh, there's a group of ICPs that deal with uh, key supervisory issues and that covers uh, both licensing but also uh, important supervisory techniques like on-site inspection, off-site monitoring uh, and supervisory intervention. Thirdly, uh, there's key uh, qualitative requirements on insurers around governance and risk management. Fourthly, key quantitative requirements that supervisors can impose, uh, including uh, capital uh, and valuation issues. And lastly, uh, uh, ICPs dealing with uh, conduct of business, including the conduct of insurance intermediaries uh, and how insurers and intermediaries should be treating their customers fairly. So uh, within each ICP, there's three levels. First of all, there's the principle, which describes the essential elements uh, of what's required. Uh, then there's a number of standards, and the standards describe what supervisors need to do. And lastly, there's guidance, which describes uh, and helps supervisors understand how they should be applying those standards. And it often gives uh, examples of good supervisory practices. So the methodology involves two steps. First, there's an assessment against each standard. And for each standard, uh, there's five possible outcomes. It can be rated as either observed, largely observed, partly observed, not observed, or not applicable. Then the assessments of each uh, standard are combined uh, to give us an overall rating uh, for, for the principle. Uh, and again, the same five uh, categories apply. What we also do is we uh, provide uh, tools to our members to help them judge how well they're doing in observing our standards. So we have uh, a peer review mechanism uh, by which uh, uh, our members' assessments of their observance are, are peer reviewed by a team of experts. We're also moving to uh, provide our members with an online tool to do a self-assessment of our standards as well. 
So the IIS has over 200 members uh, from more than 130 countries around the world, uh, representing 97% of global insurance premiums. So we're a truly diverse uh, association. Um, what that means is uh, that we have uh, uh, challenges around universal uh, observance of our standards because we have very different circumstances uh, in, in, those, in those jurisdictions. We also recognise that uh, the insurance sector is, is, is constantly evolving uh, and we have to update our standards and our guidance to, to, to take account uh, of those changes, things like uh, the impact of financial technology, uh, climate risk, cyber risk. Our members are, are committed as part of being a member of our association to observing our standards uh, and I can say that uh, amongst our membership uh, our members are either currently observant of our ICPs or are working very hard towards observance. Uh, we're also committed to help them in that journey by providing the tools and resources they need.